Hi guys. Okay, I decided I was going to teach you myself how to do your best scientific drawing. Now, I am not an art teacher. As you know, I'm a third grade teacher, but I figured if I was asking you to learn how to do something new and to take chances, I should try to learn something new and to take chances. So the first thing you guys are going to need are pencil and paper. I don't care if there's lines on the paper, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's yellow paper or white paper. This is just gonna be a pencil sketch, okay? And then you can practice more with colors later once you've learned these steps. There's two kinds of uses with these pencils that you're gonna do. You're gonna do a light touch that is as light as you, the artist, can see, okay? Because you're gonna erase this line and you don't want the shadow of the line that you would have. So you're gonna use a light touch for a sketch, and then you're gonna switch and do a darker touch when you're adding your details. So I'm gonna use a skinny marker when I want you working with a light touch, and I'm gonna to switch to a fat marker when I want you kind of pressing more and using some of that heavier touch. So we're all gonna start with the light touch, and I'm gonna have you guys just draw kind of like an ovally circle shape that's kind of like the top of a tree. So just a kind of circle doesn't have to be perfect. Your shape does not have to match mine, just like you know all trees look different, okay? Then I'm gonna draw on the trunk. So I'm gonna go like this and kind of make the sides taper in and then kind of go out towards the roots. And I'm gonna erase this inside part, okay? So you two can go ahead and erase that inside part. And now I'm gonna kind of sketch in the branches where I want them to be. And again, there's no wrong way Maybe I want one big branch to come out this way so that like we could have a porch swing or to reach out and grab onto a tree house. <clears throat> Maybe it's matching a tree in your yard and you're actually gonna do a scientific drawing so it should match what your tree looks like. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm gonna kind of have some branches come up and reach out here and reach out. We can have some little kind of bristly ones maybe one that's coming this way and branching out. And I'm gonna have it cross behind this tree and come down. Okay, so I'm gonna have these kind of branch out in this way. And this is just, this should be your light touches, should be gentle. Actually, I'll keep that there and then I'll have it branch off up higher. Same thing here. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add detail to that tree, but always a really good move to do is to step back and look at your tree because me looking at my tree in the recording, I can see that I didn't add enough reach and detail to this side for it to feel like it's balanced. So I'm gonna add some more detail on that side. <clears throat> that kind of stretches the tree out more in a balanced way. All right, so now I'm going to switch to my thicker pencil. So remember, that means that you should use more pressure when you're doing this part. And what I'm gonna do now, like as you can see, I went outside that circle and that's okay because this was just my guide or my outline. Now I'm gonna go along kind of that outline and I'm gonna like make rivoli kind of scribbly lines that make kind of the outline of, of the leaves. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm gonna move over to this side just cause it's easier for me to draw on my right cause I'm right handed. So I'm gonna erase my line. You, I do not want you erasing your line until after you've drawn it, but because I'm working with marker, it's a little bit harder. I can still see where my line was. So I'm gonna take my marker and I'm gonna do like these little kind of scribbly, blubby lifty kind of shapes. I can move in, I can move out. I wanna kind of look at, at how the branches are reaching and kind of match how the branches are reaching. So then I'm gonna come there and stop so you can see the outline of the top. Then I'm gonna come back out. Now, remember you're not erasing until after you're done with this part. I'm erasing because I'm working in whiteboard mark. So now I'm gonna do that some more some bubbly lines and this one seems to reach out more so I'm gonna go like this and then I'm gonna come back out just to give it some interest and, and then I'm gonna go like this now that's not my last step what I'm gonna do now 
is I'm going to kind of draw like there's also leaves reaching on the outside. I don't want it to only be the outline of the tree. So we want to look at where the leaves would come down back here. And over here, you might see some reaching. And then I'm going to look in my reflection to see. I think I could use some more reaching out here with how far it's going. And as you can see, I'm kind of just like scribbling a line. But when you look at the whole picture, it looks kind of nice. So now I'm going to go over a little bit darker and I'm going to fix some of the kind of disappearing lines. I might reach out with some little branches. And I might want to go like this to kind of indicate that the rest of the branch is hidden. I'm going to erase that second line and I'm going to make this one a little bit darker. And same kind of thing. And you should be doing the same thing. Just kind of go over it a little bit more detailed and fixed up. So see how it's starting to pop out a little bit more? Same thing here. I want to make sure the trunks all end up reaching or going somewhere. And we can add these little tree clusters on the top where we want the branch to end. Oh, sorry guys, that's the cat jumping up on my platform. Get down, go on, get down. Yes, I don't only have oodles of children, I also have oodles of pets. All right, so then I'm gonna finish this one here. And then I can add shadowing to really give it some depth. And most tree trunks don't just look bare like that. So I'm gonna draw back down here. And I'm gonna have like one of the roots kind of stand above and then I want to add maybe some like little grass tufts where it's in front of it to kind of give it some some more feeling and maybe I want to just do like a little twisty twirly in the middle of it and add some texture of bark by just like kind of drawing lines as you can see I'm not being horribly careful but I just want to give it some detail to make it look a little bit better if I wanted to use some shade like if my tree's in shade, I can do, this is called crosshatch, where you can kind of just draw. I can't blend very well because I'm not using a pencil, but you guys could use blending. So you can see that, <clears throat> that the tree is in shadow. You can also make the limbs darker when they're closer to the leaves so that they're in the shadow of that canopy. If you choose, you don't have to add shadowing, but might make it a little bit more interesting and matching. And what I would really love to see, I would love to get your parents to send me, just have them email me some pictures of what you guys have done and label it. Like this is, should be part of your scientific journal. You can do this right on one of your notebook pages. And then I could put over here trunk. Oh, I have a dog jumping on the bed. Don't knock over my camera and it gives strength so I could label it and tell some of the things it does for the um, for the tree leaves. And then if you don't know some of the answers, you should ask some of your self your questions. So in your notebook, right on the side. Um, <laughs> can you hear the dog? Honey, stop it. Right on the side, write questions you have about a tree, okay? How? Do I know? Or even better, can trees get sick? Oh, question. Can trees get sick? And that makes me think if they get sick, who fixes them? So these are the kind of things you can do in a scientific journal is really start thinking about the thing you drew a picture of. Come up with questions and then research if those questions are known. Go out and observe your environment and see if you can answer those questions through observation or experiments. Okay, so I would love to have your parents send me an email. My email is boyesh at 
freelandschools.net. Make sure that on your drawing has your teacher's name and your first and last name because on Fridays, I would like to kind of pull some of the things you guys send me and show them in the videos so you guys can feel proud for all the work you're doing. So I'm gonna to try to keep this fun and light and I would love to see how many scientists I get because I love science. So I hope to bring you along with me so you love science too. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.